cold morning like this is what we all dream about, and the weather should have the deer moving throughout the morning. It doesn't take long for this four point to make his way under the guise. This obviously isn't the giant buck Randy had seen before, at least I hope it's not. But when you have a buck walk under your stand in bow range, it does help to pass the time. And it reaffirms that your setup just might work when that bigger buck decides to walk your way. Now the guys know the class of bucks this property holds. And they know it didn't get that way by shooting the one and a half year old bucks. Randy's been known to let a 130 inch buck walk, knowing that a buck in the 150s could be out there. He's got his buck picked out on this hunt, and this little guy just isn't big enough. Randy watches as this future wall hanger disappears into the timber. It's not long before the guys catch movement on the ridge line. Yeah, there he is. I can see him through, through the trees. Now this is the buck they're looking for. The problem is he's working across the top of the ridge away from our hunters. Now he's hard to see, but you can make out his outline slowly moving across the skyline. Randy is confident the buck could show himself in the food plot if he's patient. Then, about 15 minutes later, the buck shows up, almost in bow range. Well, everything went according to plan, everything but the shot. The big 6x4 walks away untouched. Now look, you can see the arrow flies right under the buck. Well, like you saw, the shot was a clean miss, but at least the guys got to share it together. That's what it's all about. Sometimes you get to wrap your hands around a huge set of antlers, and sometimes you climb out of your stand just to recover a clean arrow. Either way, I'll bet you these guys will never forget the morning the big one got away. <laughs>